Remember Corbin Kafusi, right? Him and Sione Takitaki, a couple of the big defensive stars that BYU lost last season. Uh, but there are some still uh, playmakers for the Cougs here in 2019. One example that sticks out, Diane Gunwalaku. Yeah, Diane has made plays at corner and safety for the Cougars. Now he's back to corner as a senior. He has some big goals for his final year in Provo. Snap Woodside, quick fire deflection, interception, far sideline pick by the Cougars. Diane Lake has his first pick. So what are your goals this year? What do you want to accomplish as a team and as an individual? As an individual, I just want to make sure I can be that, like a leader type. And I'm not like a vocal leader. Sometimes I am, but more like lead by example, like in the weight room, on the field like that. Because we have some young guys, especially at corner and stuff. And like, I just want to be more like a leader to them, show them like the roots pretty the much and, and that's just great ball show them that competition, how to compete out there Balls and not the just air. play soft, right? I just hate that soft flame. So I'm looking at the media guide right here on the front. Who's that? Oh, shoot, that's me. How cool is that? Looking kind of swole. Kind of, <laughs> I got to lean down <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> the reason you're on the front of this is you're expected to have a big season. You're expected to be a leader. What do you think as you see yourself on the front of that? It's nice. I've never been on the front of nothing, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I like it. It's Are you like, ready for those expectations? I am. I am, especially this year, yeah. I feel like we're ready as a team, too. Like, we're ready for sure. What can you share with us about this group in the secondary? There's some experience there now. What do you think this group has to do to reach your potential and get the job done? Uh, we all have to be, like, on the same level. We can't go, like, First, first groove, first string, and then the difference, the second string way down here, we have to be on the same page and like know our stuff on the field and be competitive pretty much. And that's one thing Coach Hadley emphasizes and like as a whole group, as a team too, just to be able to compete and like next man up should be play at that same level. You have a heck of a story. <laughs> oh, yeah. From where you've come to where you are now. What is it about your story that's made you who you are now and, and got to you where you're at? Obviously, when you, when you go through certain things, it shapes you. How has your journey shaped you? It's just uh, from where I came from, like from Africa and stuff like that, and knowing the sacrifice my dad made. My dad pretty much stopped going to school and getting his degree just so me and my sister could come to the US. And he just were, was working to get enough money to bring us here. So his sacrifice uh, kind of pushes me to just graduate, because when I graduated, that was like the happiest day of his life, just because he didn't gra get to graduate, and he took that sacrifice to see us succeed. And so that's what kind of drives me, just motivates me every day, like, I'm doing it for a reason, and for my family, and I also want to, like, like I said, I'm trying to go to the NFL and get my, from my first thing to come to BYU was get my degree, and just make it to the NFL and help my family out. That's a big thing to me, just helping my family back in Africa, because, they don't have much and like a lot of them are dying from like little stuff because they don't have the medicine that the U.S. has. So I just want to like go back and help them because I haven't back, been back since I was like five, since I got here. So it's just that's what pushes me every day in school and football and just every day, daily life. So I'm sure you're also motivated for your first opponent of the season. Oh yeah, for sure. We got to beat them. Like I don't even care. Like we got to do all we can to beat them. There's no reason we shouldn't beat them. Like it don't matter if they got better athletes, it don't matter, like, we have that drive this year that I feel like we should, we should beat them. You guys aren't backing away from this at all, are you? Oh, not at all. It's, that's the game. That's what's going to start our season off, and so, a win, that's what we're trying, that's all we're thinking. Every day we have signs all over, beat Utah, beat Utah, it goes through everyone's head, beat Utah, beat Utah, so we see it every day. So you want to get to the NFL, you're going to play against Utah, you're going to play against Tennessee, you're going to play against USC, Washington, the list goes on and on of some really good teams with NFL caliber talent. How much do you embrace that challenge and how eager are you to see how you match up with some of those teams and those players? I love it. It's, it's going to be great. And I just, I know, I know like when the competition gets better, like I love that. Just my competition goes up. We play, I play above, I try to play above that level. And so, and I try to do that every game too. It doesn't matter who we play against. It could be the weakest team in college football. I'm still going to have that same intensity. and playing those teams like Washington. So I didn't get an opportunity to play Washington because I was hurt last year. And just teams like that, Washington, Utah, Tennessee, that's just a way for us to prove ourselves and feel like we match up pretty good against any of those teams. And I'm for sure going to try to lock everyone down. That's the plan. So I'm not hesitating whatsoever.